you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back to Summer of Funny. I'm Andy Reesmeyer Moonves. <laughs> Got it. Let's take a look at the live studio audience for a second. Give it up for yourselves. Yeah. Those are some those are some real fans of comedy, morning comedy, not yeah. just a group of news writers who have been here since 11 last night. <laughs> and they're That's not being not, held against their will. No, those are those are tears of joy. That is not their eyes bleeding. <laughs> Cut away. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you don't like the summer of funny, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not for everybody. Doing comedy on the news is hard. It's like doing news on the news if you're Pedro. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's true. It's very true. Just I don't disagree. Uh, remember, this is the last comic oh. of this whole experience. Whoa. I know. So text 515151 for your chance <laughs> to, go, to go to Dave Matthews' band with, with Doug. No, uh, uh, the, the next weekend will be the finale. We will crown the winner. And that person, I assume, uh, gets to eat at Hoi Ka for 15% off on Tuesday. That's the real. But there's also, a, a, you also get a, a present. You get a gift. And here to tell them what they will win is Mr. Glenn Walker. The Golden Giggle Geiger Counter. It finds the funniest by reading radiation from laughter. But you can also use it as a paperweight or a blunt object. It's a prize as big as Pedro's head. Back to you, Anderson. Keep it going, everybody. Please welcome our final comic, Kenny DeForest. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Good to see everybody. Hello, newscasters. Hello, exhausted news writers. Good to see you. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm newly bald. This is new. I took the plunge. And uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I'll be, I held on too long. I did. I made that mistake. Uh, I'm looking at photos of myself from six months ago, texting my friends like, I'm, that, that was my bad. I... Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have made you stand next to me like that. That was messed up. It was weird. I feel like I had reverse body dysmorphia, but for my hair, if that makes sense. Like, I was too confident. Because <laughs> I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, we are doing pretty good. <laughs> that is a guy with hair looking back at me. <laughs> And then I would see photos of myself on stage, and I'd be like, wow, I am Gallagher. This is unacceptable. <laughs> Somebody bring me a watermelon right now. <laughs> I can't believe I let this happen. <laughs> but I'll be, I was scared to shave my head. I really was, because I already look pretty racist. And so this was a big <laughs> decision for me. I got to be, now it's real bad. Like, I, I won't even try Oakley's on anymore. I am one. <laughs> Bad sunglasses purchased away from being subpoenaed by the January 6th committee. I really am. So, no tactical eyewear for your boy. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's keep it fun. Let's keep it light. I fought hard, too. I was buying, like, all the products. Tonics, pills, shampoos, conditioners. I, none of it, it, it. Some of it did work. It worked really well from here back. We were crushing it. From here, long, luscious locks, but up here, not so much. It didn't really take. My scalp was basically like, look, man, you can have a party in the back if you want. That's cool. But uh, there will be no business in the front. Do you understand? This has been rezoned. It's no longer legal to operate a business here. So move on. And then I had a breakthrough one day. I was fighting it. I was spending all this money. I was watching a Laker game, and I just saw LeBron James. I was like, man, if LeBron James can't fix it, it can't be fixed, right? Like, <laughs> if the chosen one can't fix baldness, who do I think I am? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> King James, the man they named the Bible after, he can't do it. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a better time. <laughs> so I finally went to shave it. I went to a barber. I wanted one last barbershop experience. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to say goodbye. And like I said, the hair I had was long. It was down to my shoulders. So before we shaved my head, I asked the barber, I was like, hey, man, should I donate my hair to Locks for Love? Would that be a cool thing for me to do? <laughs> and I don't know if you know Locks for Love. It's a beautiful organization. If your hair is longer than six inches, you can donate it, and they will make a wig out of it for a cancer patient. And the barber took one look at my head, and he was like, nah, we're good. And um, <laughs> you know your hairline's trash when even a cancer patient doesn't want it. And I don't... 
I don't blame you. You know how mad you would be if you had cancer and they gave you a wig and your wig had a receding hairline? You'd be like, what is it? Are you roasting me right now? You guys have been fun. Thank you so much. Yeah. Kenny DeForest, up, Thank you, brother. So very funny. I Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, and, and, and you look great. And I wanted to show everybody, because you sent us your headshot. That's right. And this is a headshot pre your sort of awakening. That's right. Can we take a look here? Yeah. This is what you were working with before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And listen, that was after my special taping. There's makeup actually helping there, if you can imagine. It was worse than well, that. Well, you look great. And, and it's a good thing that uh, all the productions are on strike, because uh, you would be really missing out on a lot of very creepy roles, I think. <laughs> Had you, uh, had you still had it. But yeah, quarterback in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> think, uh, be up for guy who just lives in a truck too close to a school. Yeah. You know, that, whole thing. that guy's co pilot. Uh... <laughs> thank you so much for being here. If people want to find you online, they can uh, look you up at Kenny DeForest. At right? Kenny DeForest, yep. And I have a special that just came out for free on my YouTube page. It's called Don't You Know Who I Am? And then the audio only version of that, there's 20 plus uh, minutes of bonus material. Wow. And you can check that out anywhere you get your uh, comedy albums. Well, very cool. So uh, get stuck in traffic with Kenny then. It sounds like it'll be very fun. We're going to take a quick break, but remember, remember, your favorite comic needs your vote. Voting opens just moments from now, eight minutes on the dot, and we'll be open for four days. You can vote as many times as you want. Rewatch all the sets and uh, get in touch with your favorite comic as well. Uh, you can do that at ktla.com slash funny. That's the website. Yeah. And we'll be back next week with the winner.